Hi there. I have my axes with me today. Um, if you are interested in bushcrafting and the outdoors, um, you are probably also interested in axes. Um, and I have been asked if I could talk a little bit about which axe should I get when I'm getting into bushcrafting and camping and hiking and and so on. So I have brought my the axes that I use at the moment and I'm going to talk a little bit about each and every one of these. Uh, let's start with this one. It's um, They say it's the most popular axe in the Grensfors range of axes. It's the small forest axe. So <clears throat> it can, comes with a sheath like this. They say it's the um, axe of uh, choice for uh, ray mirrors and um, it's very sharp, they come extremely sharp, you can shave yourself with this edge here and it has the maker's stamp here, TT it says on this one. It is, I believe, the perfect size for most people. It's not very heavy, it's not too long, so you can keep this in your backpack. You can use it with two hands. Um, I prefer to use it with one hand. And it's just a very good axe. I highly recommend this axe. Now, moving on, we have a smaller Grenzfors axe. It's the um, Outdoors Axe, uh, designed by Lars Felt, uh, who is a, uh, well, he, he is a survival instructor from Sweden. Um, this is a very small axe. It's very small. Um, I'm, I would like to say this is the axe I grab when I go out in the woods. Uh, I haven't had this one for very long. I think the handle is a bit thin for my hand. Uh, for most people, I think the handle will be uh, just right. Again, it's very sharp. It has a little beard, so you can choke up on the on the axe head like this and do ca carving. Um, and it chops really well. So if we move on now to a uh, different brand, this is Hultafors. Um, it is um, still, we're in Sweden, this is also a Swedish maker. Uh, this is a much heavier axe. It's the one I use for processing firewood at home, actually. Short handle, heavy axe head. Um, it's unbreakable. It's, uh, it's, it's a very good axe. I believe it's too heavy for hiking. It's just, I tend to leave this one at home. It chops extremely well. This axe is not for hiking. It's just too heavy. It's a really big axe. Um, the axe head was found in the dirt. It's probably very, very old. I restored it. Um, it has this wonderful patina and it's my, well, it's my favorite axe for heavy work. When you're going to chop down uh, an old dead spruce, then this is the axe you want to use. It's quite heavy. Uh, the handle is long, uh, so you have a long reach. This is a two-handed axe, and um, well, it chops really well. This is my smallest axe. It's my belt axe. 
I carry it like this. Let's take a look. Like here. And um, I would like to say that the most important thing about an axe for bushcrafting is that it's not too big. If it's too big, you, you won't bring it. It will just be too heavy and too um, not practical at all. This is, of course, a very small axe. It's an uh, Öyjo, made in Norway. Um, it doesn't come with this beautiful sheath. Uh, my friend uh, Hamish in Scotland made this for me. He's a leather worker. And it's just a very useful, nice little axe. It's not something for taking down trees. It's just something you use for processing firewood. <clears throat> this is actually a tomahawk. It's a cold steel Norse hawk. I have removed the black paint and it has a, a Viking look to it, perhaps. I made this handle myself and I fitted it not as you fit a tomahawk, but as you fit a hatchet. I don't know why. Maybe I just... I'm very traditional uh, in that way. <laughs> And again, another tomahawk from Cold Steel. I um, made this handle. I like these handles that um, they look very natural because they are. Uh, I've made them so that they will fit my hand perfectly. Um, and again, fitted with a wedge. It's just, it's just a small, nice axe now. Well, really, a tomahawk. This is a Viking axe, and uh, I just wanted to show you this axe uh, because I love this axe. Um, but obviously, it's not for firewood, as the Norse hawk there. It's <laughs> it has other purposes. Well, I should say it had back in the old days, um, but the blade. The axe head is actually made originally from for woodworking. This beard here makes you enables you to grab um, right up here, choke up here, and your hand is then directly above the edge here. This axe, not for bushcrafting. Uh, but still, it's a bonus axe in this video. <laughs> Which axe should you get? Uh, I believe that the most important factor here is your hand, actually. Um, the axe handle needs to fit your hand. Um, because if it doesn't, it becomes a little bit unsafe to use that axe. Um, so do try the axe if you can. Pick up the axe before you buy it and uh, try to feel if this is something that if the grip is secure and so on uh, and also i think that you shouldn't pick an axe that are too heavy because if it's too heavy you end up not bringing that axe with you when you go out uh, bushcrafting hiking whatever um, also your terrain uh, the terrain it matters a lot for instance, up here in the north, in, in Norway, we need to take down some old spruce trees, old dead spruce trees uh, for firewood to keep us warm during the winter nights. So I would say for most people, axes in this range here would be suitable. This is the Grensfors small forest axe. Uh, the Hultafors is a bit too heavy. I think it's a bit too heavy. Uh, this is the um, Grensfors uh, Outdoors Axe. 
it's quite small but I like it um, I tend to bring this uh, now it's my yeah I bring it all the time actually um, that says a lot these axes axis of this size is a bit too big and bulky this is highly individual uh, it's a matter of taste uh, I guess it's um, I've met people who will always bring a big axe <laughs> and I've met people who won't bring an axe at all um, some people love tomahawks um, maybe it's just because I'm Norwegian uh, tomahawks maybe it's not right thing for me uh, because I grew up with hatchets uh, <laughs> so but that's just me tomahawks are great the great thing about tomahawks is that you can easily remove the handle uh, you can use uh, this as uh, only the axe head as a uh, sort of a knife it's easy to replace the handle and so on and they are lightweight so that's all for now and thank you for watching um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already then please consider subscribing and hit that bell so that you will get notifications when I upload new videos which I try to do every weekend okay um, I hope you enjoyed the video and until I see you next time take care <laughs>